Breaking news, Alabama's former top cop Spencer Collier turned himself in and is arrested for filing a false police report. Daphne police say Collier filed the police report last night claiming a family member had stolen a credit card and used the card at a local hotel in Daphne. NBC 15's James Gordon joins us now from Daphne with details on the arrest and reaction from Collier. Well, Spencer Collier told police that he had filed that police report because he thought his son either had used the card or had misplaced the credit card. But there's much more to the story. Detectives say Spencer Collier called for an officer at La Quinta Inn in Daphne, claiming his credit card was stolen and used at the hotel. Collier apparently had asked the clerk to give him the room number associated with a charge on his credit card. The clerk told him she couldn't without a police report. Police looking into the case discovered the card was not stolen and that a family member had permission to use the card. It is not clear at this hour who was staying at the hotel. In a statement, Collier said, quote, I have no doubt I will be exonerated. The entire episode is embarrassing. I am sorry for any embarrassment this has caused Selma. This is not how I wanted to retire, end quote. Spencer Collier bonded out of the city jail about an hour after turning himself in. NBC 15 also obtained court documents showing Collier's wife filed a protection order yesterday against her husband. In the order, she claimed that Collier threatened physical violence. The complaint says a weapon was used. The complaint also states Collier has had an unstable state of mind and is having problems with depression and anxiety. In that statement from Collier, he mentioned Selma. He just retired as the police chief from that city. Now, now police say that police in Daphne say that Collier seemed apologetic throughout the whole thing, but they wouldn't comment any further. Uh, he now faces a misdemeanor and will be due in court on July 30th. For now, we're live in Daphne. James Gordon, NBC 15 News.